The SNP have been dealt a huge blow in their ambition for Scottish independence after polling showed a fall in support for separation from the UK. A panel-based poll revealed support for Scottish independence was four points lower than April prior to the Holyrood elections. The poll revealed just 48% of people would back independence, once don't knows were excluded. Meanwhile, backing for the union stood at 52%, a gain once don't knows were taken out of the equation. It comes after senior cabinet minister Michael Gove has said he can't see Boris Johnson granting a new referendum on Scottish independence before the next general election. Mr Gove, who is responsible for countering the push for independence, said the prime minister's focus was completely focused on recovery from the pandemic for the lifetime of this parliament. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said a vote should take place before the end of 2023 but has stressed constitutional matters would be addressed once the coronavirus pandemic is over. On the exact timing of another referendum, 19% said a referendum should be held in the next 12 months. However, the figure rises to 35% for the next 2 to 5 years whilst 46% said there should not be a referendum in the next few years. The panel base poll commissioned for the Sunday Times, also indicated that 22% of voters said Scotland was likely to become independent within the next five years, regardless of the independence argument. Some 24% of respondents said the country was likely to become independent within five to ten years, while another 24% said it was not likely at any point in the next few decades. Sir John Curtis Scottish polling guru said the figures indicated there was cooling of the independence order since the Holyrood election. Following the data, the professor of politics at the University of Strathclyde the SNP could not risk letting the independence debate be off the boil for long. He added, rather, the party needs to embark on a campaign to persuade more Scots of the merits of independence. Otherwise, Miss Sturgeon might find herself stuck with a promise to hold a referendum that she has little hope of winning. Pamela Nash, chief executive of Scotland in Union, said, The UK's broad shoulders have helped every part of the country through this crisis, from protecting jobs to a successful vaccination programme, so it is not surprising that more people are recognising the benefits of remaining part of the UK. The Scottish government should listen to what voters are saying and focus on the Covid recovery, which will take many years and not reopen old divisions. As part of the UK we can build a recovery that leaves no community behind a Scottish Conservative Party spokesperson said. This poll confirms last month's election result that only the Scottish Conservatives can build Scotland's real alternative to the SNP panel base polled 1,287 Scots earlier this month.